Salut, salut, salut. Johnny, ça va? Ça va et toi? Ça va, merci. Comment ça est, Bola Kayo? Eh ben, nous là, oui. Nous avons gardé, nous comptons une belle journée encore aujourd'hui à New York. Là. Ah oui, ah Mais oui. Mais quand on a médité quand même, je pense ah. à Haïti tout parce que l'eau qui a coulé là, c'est triste quand même. Ah oui, ah non, l'image de ce sac a coulé en Haïti là, c'est quelque chose. C'est ça. Là. C'est grave, grave, grave. Et bon, quelque part, nous allons parler de ça un petit peu. OK. Surtout moi-même qui passe toute journée en téléphone avec Haïti. Je suis obligé de faire des cours que je fais les après-midi, après mon jour, je suis obligé de faire avec mes dames, mon Jérémy, je suis obligé de faire des cours. Je fais toute journée avec Gabi. Johnny, nous sommes sur aujourd'hui, of course. You know, Gabi was asking about you. Mes amis, ça me fait. Eh bien, Haïti ou quitté, il y a pas de vieux dîmes pour qui ça m'a retiré Johnny non mais yo, je dis c'est fort moi yo qui a dit Johnny? Jamais, jamais. Je vous l'avais mis ça sous moi. C'est pas possible, c'est pas possible. Est-ce que, are we live yet? We are live. We are, we are live. Ok, ok, because I'm going to share it on my page. Well, first, uh, again, on a dit ça, such a pleasure, always. Si rendez-vous ça que nous gagnons chaque chaque dimanche qui c'est un rendez-vous soit Haïti dans le mot Dieu chaud pour remonter moral nous et permettre nous continuer cette semaine là donc un gros plaisir encore que nous ensemble comment est mon Alissa mon cher à te dire vrai mon capable de triste mais c'est pour me craser tristesse ça et et mon corps capable de comprendre ni tout qu'on est depuis Haïti Haïti en péril moi même je rentre à mon approche tout ça me essaye faire pour essayer carter bagarre de l'esprit moi et moi quoi déjà j'ai réponse ça déjà pour déjà j'ai réponse ça aujourd'hui d'après discussion nous fait mais quand même nous obligé faire choix n'a 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 avancer n'a avancer parce que discussion ça il il après des heures des nuits des jours des années mais quand même nous nous souhaiter et, et famille nous yos, amis nous yos, collègues nous yos, qui derrière nous souhaiter que grand mettre là-bas pour protection les protections nécessaires et en plus le monde dit bon bon Dieu va bas protection mais ça ne suffit pas nous croyons que infrastructure là c'est ça qui est qui 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 problème non et problème ça doit résoudre et nous souhaiter dans on va venir pas trop lointain que que problème ça solutionner effectivement et bon côté pas Johnny et bon côté pas Bon, au qu'on est au qu'on est attitude moi et premier bagage pour moi-même depuis me lever c'est déjà un bon jour son bonne journée journée a bien démarré ouais deuxièmement depuis ma santé on bagaille en forme net tant bien OK donc euh, ça va mais quand même tristesse par rapport à la situation au pays non et mm-hmm. par rapport à ça que ce affrain nous a vivre en Haïti et bah c'est que discussion que nous allons faire aujourd'hui a pas assez intéressant vis-à-vis et qui ça nous même pas beau ici et qui Jean Noël mais qui ça nous même pas beau ici nous qu'a fait qui ça ça veut dire engagement euh, nous même qu'a vivre pas beau ici et qui Jean qu'a continuer pour décoller avec et ce acte nous qui qui souterrain pour nous améliorer situation oui bon Johnny Fond dit en passant nous pas nous pas passer sous ça nous doit observer un moment de silence pour 17 monde qui perdu la vie et yon nouvelle tout moun pense que tu frappe très durement parce que et nous te font poser sous ça et nous voulons observer 30 secondes de silence à la mémoire de 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 ces vies qui perdu prématurément But on a good note, we want to say happy birthday to Tabu Combo. And uh, Johnny, watch out for the switchboard because uh, there's a possibility that Fonfon or Kapi might be calling. 
So <laughs> as a host, please let them in if they're coming. I will absolutely do that. I'll keep my eyes open on that. Yes. So we want to say happy 52nd to Tabu Combo, uh, our Patrimoine National, and we're very proud of their accomplishment. The um, they're personally brothers of mine. They're a, a phone call away, as you can see a few minutes ago. Uh, Fafa just called me to apologize for not returning the call because I know they've been very busy, but we want to remind the public that it's, it's their anniversary. Tonight, they're going to have a, a beautiful event and it's going to be live on Facebook. It's going to be on YouTube. Um, we're encouraging you to show them some love. Please donate and support um, their work because we don't want to wait after their departure to show them the love, respect, and appreciation. 50 sec 52 years that they've been the pride and joy of our community. They've represented us. They've represented our culture internationally. So, bon fête à vous, Combo. Merci, merci. Il a dit, il a dit, on peut bon fête à Tabou Combo. Bon fête à Tabou Combo. Les jeunes pays. Hein? Les jeunes pays. Hein? Absolument. Et donc, et nous avons entré d'emblée et, et, et dans le show hein, pour, pour nous remercier d'un cas qui est ensemble avec nous. Je dis, hein, nous disons gros coquin de chaîne. Merci parce que ou et prend dans ça. Donc, on est dimanche, c'est journée de famille généralement dans la culture. Nous. Et donc, on prend un petit temps dans la journée ça pour qu'on t'y parle avec nous, mais en particulier pour parler avec nous, cap garder nous, cap tendre nous, et que c'est ici pas euh, à l'étranger ou bien Haïti qui monte en Haïti. Et pour nous parler de de et travail qu'on a fait. Donc, et Gilles, là, on fait qu'il est nous, moi, iPhone qui monte et m'a quitté le rentrer et puis dans les cas où capable juste bah nous une introduction de pour dire ce qu'on connaît et qui est soi. D'accord. Bon, merci Johnny et merci Mona Lisa, Dr. Ferrari. Um, comme je l'aime elle me dit ça non, elle me Non, moi même tout c'est ça que me dit ça mais c'est soi. Exactly. Um, I'm very happy uh, to be on uh, on the show today to talk about Pojasetan and Haiti more than talk about who I am. But I'm Naika Shol Daiti, um, born and raised um, in Haiti, and uh, moved to New York at a very young age of 15. Um, unfortunately, I say unfortunately because we weren't prepared to leave. Um, our country, my brother and I, um, when we did, but uh, due to a lot of unfortunate um, political unrest during that time, we had to make the move. And I have to say that, you know, being in New York since 1991 has taught me a lot, um, has taught me a lot about the woman that I am as a Haitian woman, first and foremost. Um, I've made my career through corporate life. I'm married. I have a son who's 26 years old. But my passion really and what I would really like to talk about more than me is who I am that relates to Haiti as the founder and truthfully a community leader, as I like to say, because of the, um, I would say, the measurable results that Pajet Setan has shown in the past 12 years. So in a nutshell, that's who I am. Um, I have a background in executive leadership um, where planning operationally logistics is really my strength. Um, so it's kind of like your business driven, you know, les femmes d'action. Um, that's, who, that's who I am. Um, je bouge beaucoup. So I can tell you that um, this year, um, this 2020 year has truthfully, um, you know, showed me what it means to really move fast or slow because of the pandemic. So, thank you. Et moi que nous, Mona Lisa, nous avons invité, juste dit iPhone, donc on ne sait pas si... Allô? Allô? Allô, Fofan? Oui, c'est moi. Yes! Hi, Fofan! How are you? I'm great, Fofan. Mesdames et messieurs, nous avons avec nous. Oh my God, it's a pleasure to have you, Fofan. 
actually, Johnny, she, should I let you have the the honor and the pleasure? No, I'll let you. Go I, I'm, for too, it. I'm too emotional. Go I am for way it. too go emotional. For it. Fafa is my <laughs> brother. He's my friend. He's. Uh, I don't even know how to express it. Um, Fafa, I'm I'm filled with emotions. Um, <laughs> okay. You already know. You already know. I know, uh, I know, I know, I know. I, you're, I know you you're, you're always one phone call away. Um, you already know what you mean to me, as as my dear yeah. friend and brother. But thank you. Um, you're not just a friend, and and I just, I simply wanted to take a few minutes, and I'm gonna ask Naika, and I'm sure she pretty much understands, although she's she's our guest for today. Um, and I want to thank Johnny for allowing me to do that. Um, but you, it's, it's a well-deserved respect that, and we all share the same sentiment for what you and Tabu Kombo represent for our people, our country. And, and, right. and we're not waiting until the day Tabu Kombo is no longer or any of you guys are no longer for us to express that love. I know I've, we've gotten the opportunity to, to break bread together, you know, when I come up to, to, to your place, to your restaurant, you know, you and your darling wife, your son. You guys have have been there for me over the years, you know, throughout my career, my 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 children. You guys have been there for me. You've been a brother, a friend. I, I truly appreciate you. But most of all, again, on behalf of the entire diaspora, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you've represented for Petionville, our original town where we come from. <laughs> um, um, what you've done in education. You're a giant. And yes, and you. Pas long, pas long, pour conjuguer des verbes à l'imparfait, au passé composé, yeah. passé décomposé, au plus que parfait. Yeah. Ouais, c'est ce que je dis. Merci. Merci. Non, non, papa, ici, hein. nous dis chapeau bas, merci en pile. So, we're going to give you a chance to, um, again, share with the public what, what you guys uh, are doing. I know, nous sommes nous, nous tous ensemble, et je dis à Mdéry le Capitou. I know he's overwhelmed. Um, yeah. no message for you, but uh, eventually after the show, I'll get to talk to all of you guys. But um, again, please uh, share the love with our audience. Well, uh, I want to thank everybody. You know, everybody who's listening to your, to your show, watching the show. And thank you for all the support that you have given us throughout the years. You know, it's been 52 years and without you, there will be no breath of fresh air. There will be no, no, no oxygen uh, in the group. You know, without the public, uh, it's like singing for, for singing for in the air. So we need the public. We need you, and you've always been there for us in good days and bad days and uh, stormy days and all these things. You know, so uh, you, you've always been there with us. And without your support, we would have we not have been where we are today. And today we are celebrating our 52nd anniversary. Uh, it's not the way that we were, you know, we wanted to do it, but because of the pandemic, everybody's confined, everybody's, you know, uh, at home. There, therefore, we have to do it the way we're doing it. But we're going to do our best to give you the best show tonight, the best show ever. Uh, we're going to play some new songs, some old songs. Uh, uh, you know, we have a rich repertoire. Therefore, you know, everybody will find a song at least that they enjoy a song that, uh, that that reminds them of something, you know, because uh, I find myself uh, uh, crying sometimes when I'm listening to a certain song that reminds me of a certain moment. That's what music does to you. And I know my Haitian people and everybody in the world who are listening now will be, you know, uh, watching the internet turn up by, by between 7 and 8 o'clock and watch for Tabu Combo Live 2020. And uh, we're counting uh, tremendously on your support because we, we, we spend a lot of money doing this, this, uh, this show and uh, we don't even know how much money we're going to get uh, from the internet. But I know that people love Tabu Combo and have a lot of respect for us. Please donate. Uh, the, the link to donate is number four, Tabu Combo at gmail.com. You can do it by PayPal. You can do it by Cash App. You can do it by Zelle. It's for Tabu Combo at gmail.com, but the letter four, the number four, I'm sorry, the number four, the number four at gmail.com, number four, Tabu Combo at gmail.com for your support. And thank you very much. And enjoy the show. You're going to have, uh, it's going to be a beautiful show. You know, a lot of practice. We've been practicing for two months in a row. So uh, that show must be good. All right. Thank you.
Avant, avant, avant aller, fais-nous fais 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 la connaître exactement, encore une fois, à qui le Et est-ce que c'est sur Facebook ou bien c'est sur YouTube Qui côté a pour la dis La disponible sur, sur Facebook, euh, sur, sur YouTube. Regardez dans Tabou Combo, pas Tabou Combo dans YouTube, regardez dans Guiwewe, Chocaré là. Son Chocap dans au moins et, et 50 networks. Ok, super. Bon, bon, euh, super. Au moins, là, et dans au moins 50 networks. La commencé, bon, et gros problème de, parce que host, mon cas, vous soit, et qui, Karel, je suis en Haïti, mais gros problème cyclone en Haïti, vous comprenez? Oui. Donc, euh, c'est maximum 8 heures, nous dit 7 heures, mais maximum 8 heures, parce que, je suis en difficulté connecté, vous comprenez? Parce que, on est début, et Haïti vraiment, et il y a des difficultés dans, dans ce ça, mais maximum 8 heures, entre 7 heures, d'ailleurs, mais mon yobran, c'est depuis 7 heures. Et puis, si c'est à nous pour comparer à un announcement qui a dit exactement à qui le show a commencé. Parce yeah. que pour moi, nous avons la merci de l'Internet, donc ce euh, sont des très difficile pour nous connecter, pour nous contrôler. Nous avons une situation de pays. Hein. Si tout si tout est mauvais. <laughs> le mauvais temps. Grand pile, grand pile de l'eau ici. Grand pile de l'eau. Absolument. Tout le monde sous l'eau. OK? Absolument. Donc, merci okay. beaucoup et merci Mona Alissa. Merci à toi et de ce que nous mettons dans l'air pour nous parler à mon yo. Et, et ma voix est là pour nous, nous allons mettre sur Facebook, pas pas nous en tout, nous passons ces choix, d'accord? Très bien. D'accord, d'accord. Ok, bon. Fafa, en tant qu'invité spécial Sénaïka d'Haïti, c'est fondatrice pour Gérard Saint-Anne, je profite de mes compliments à Tabou et have fun tonight because you guys yes. deserve yes. to enjoy it. I think that's very important. And yes, so, yes. you know, it's a big day for us to remember the greatness in your music for our culture. Yes. And yes. also in this moment today where Haiti is, you know, unfortunately, yeah. but um, enjoy it nonetheless. And just remember those that love your music. So thank you. Oh, always, always, always. I said it at the beginning. Without you guys, there will be no, no taboo combo because you are the, 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 the bridge, you know, that, uh, that we cross over all the time. You know, that uh, the, the passage, the passage to success is from the public, you know. That's Thank right. you very much. You got all it. Right. Tout a ici en aimé taboo. Okay, but... I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank Papa, you. We'll see you when you come back. So, um, yes. matter of fact, you know what, Sunday, next Sunday, you should be a guest on the show. Exactly, we talk after Definitely the show. Definitely okay. want to have you on the show. Yes. I'll Thank talk you. to you later for fun. Bye bye. It was a pleasure. Bye bye. My my pleasure is mine. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Donc, on est rentré vivement dans le sujet. Et vivement le sujet, c'est Haïti. Et ces projets, un cas qu'on a fait en Haïti depuis des années. Et ben nous, ils ont vu global de travail que l'organisation a fait en Haïti depuis qu'il est, etc. Ok, bon, Johnny, je vais saluer tout le monde qui a regardé nous connaître tout. Je vais dire que le projet Saint-Anne a débuté en 2008, juillet 2008, dans le Campéry. Ok, et nous pas commencé avec une idée pour nous gagner une fondation. Parce que nous sommes petites, petites campérins. Maman, c'est mon campérin qui fait que chaque année, je dis que depuis un petit monde, c'était une tradition pour nous, pour nous toujours, toujours tourner la caille. Nous. Et je pense que c'était vraiment une belle tradition que nous mettons dans nous-mêmes, la famille Bernard. Là, parce que il fait vraiment apprécier aux communautés qui remettent une autre. Et c'est comme ça, en juillet 2008, et avec peut-être deux cousines moi yo, avec deux trois autres moi moi décidé que n'a fait un plat chaud pour communauté un jour fête cette année parce que toujours gain en pile monde pour l'église là qui a mandé quoi bah et même religieux mendiant ou bien des pauvres mais ce sont des frères et sœurs même qu'à jour que depuis lors ok c'est à dire de 2008 côté que nous te bail à peu près une centaine de monde manger par exemple Jusqu'à 2019, nous avons campé là à cause de la pandémie. Nous avons 1500 et frais action nous mangé avec plusieurs lots antiques chaque juillet, chaque 26 juillet. 
Mais priorité pour j'ai cette année depuis 2011, c'est l'éducation. Éducation, ti moun yo, ti moun ki est démuni yo, ti moun ki dans besoin, ti moun ki ka apprendre, des familles qui t'a remé ouais que ti moun yo vraiment gagnon avenir demain. C'est ça que fait en 2011, nous lancer un sponsorship program where we started with eight students in the program. And today, we have 250 sponsored students through sponsorship, both in primary and in secondary school. And the reason why we take education so seriously outside of Haiti needed, the world needs to continue to educate is because we live in a society where the literacy rate is extremely low. And I'm pretty sure that if I share the data here, that a lot of people would be very surprised to hear it, but I think it's very important. So I understand also, and this is very important for me to share because the, the, the data that I'm about to share with you says a lot about the state of um, the country in itself when it comes to education. And outside of the education program as a number one priority, we also go back every end of the year um, as Project Setan to celebrate the children in the community where we do a Fête Noël for about 800 kids with new toys and new shoes so that they can start the year. Now, when you look... Avant le colon, ben nous, Project Setan, pour qui ça? Parce que nous pouvons aller vraiment méthodiquement pour nous assurer nous tout le monde comprendre projet base mm -hmm. projet non projet mm -hmm. monde qui n'a projet mm -hmm. et puis et et on parler de et qui 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 ça te mener nous prendre décision pour lancer projet et en particulier domaine que nous avons donc nous parler très méthodiquement mais mm -hmm. déjà pour qui ça projet saint anne pour qui ça pas trilé et on pour qui ça non oui Eh bien, projet Saint-Anne, c'est parce que maman, c'est mon campérin et Saint-Anne, c'est patrimoine communauté. D'accord. Et comme moi-même, moi, son petit, petit campérin, moi, en 2008, avec deux cousines, moi, moi, t'es v'lé fond bagaille pour mon la communauté. C'est comme ça que projet Saint-Anne commencé. Projet Saint-Anne commencé vraiment avec un acte de bien faire. Et c'est pas yon, comme si m'ta dit me me dit que m'a va créer un non profit. Non, c'est comme qui t'a parlé et puis il y a monde qui suit mouvement depuis 2008 et c'est en 2011 vraiment que m'ta dit que nous vinn projet cette année et nous kembe non hein, parce que we represent the helping hands of cette année in the community. Okay. Our mission is education and community development. Okay. Now, we are now, can you hear me? Yeah, you had frozen for a I quick second, you. but you're back. Okay. We are now in a phase in our education platform where we're going, we're building a campus because that's part of the community development. And that is a huge part of what we want to accomplish in the community because of the success stories that's going to come out of this campus. This campus is going to be a school where children, especially jeunesse, that's why we call it the campus. So in the big scheme, Projet saint anne consists of six people. There's me as the founder. We have the co-founder, so, and we have a steering committee, which is our executive board. And um, I can tell you that we're all Haitian Americans. Um, we all live in the States, New York and Florida, actually. And we have a uh, local representative underground, as well as an assistant um, that uh, helps him. His name is Ebel Motuma. It's very important that we have local representative, being that we're on the state side, because of the obvious. There's always going to be a reason to support the community, especially our children in the sponsorship program. And I say our children because that's how we see them. You know, we're giving them the path to a better future. So they are our kids. And that is who Poja Sintan is. Wonderful. So, so Naika, I have a couple of questions for you. Um, 
because now you're you, you, you kind of um, you're tickling me talking about a campus because you know we're, we're, we're tapping into education. Um, when you talk about this campus, and and I always I already see that you're talking about college and career readiness. I see you're preparing kids for the future. You know, school and beyond school. In terms of your staffing, how prepared are those teachers? to impart the necessary knowledge onto those students? And I'm asking that question based on my own personal experience working with teachers on the ground. So that's a very, so we're at a very preliminary stage with our campus, um, Mona Lisa. We are building the school as we speak. So the recruitment process of the teachers is going to be quite intense for us when we start that process because we want quality education for our students. We're gonna go back to the basics, meaning the idea is to speak to teachers, retired teachers that are in the country that can really help us put a curriculum in place that will serve the community, not just in, um, not, not just in the educational aspect of it, but also in the environmental aspect of education because of the community development part of the reason why we are building this campus. So we're gonna be looking for teachers that are rooted um, in the country more than anything and also in the diaspora because we have a lot of people that would be already willing to help us put a very good education program in place. So we're not there yet, but this is something this is something where maybe hopefully, you know, you can even help us when that time comes. You know, I think she's frozen. And, frozen a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, the internet is really acting up lately. Um, yes. Well, I, I, you know, I was really, it was really fascinating for me um, to, to hear you talk about how this project initially started and how this particular programs that you were implementing actually only had eight children in it and to where you've now grown, right? And talk, talk to us, tell us about that evolution, that process that got you um, to where you are now. Because I, and the reason I'm asking is because very often people see things in the particular place and time, right? But they don't quite know what came before and what kind of not just vision, but planning and effort that was required to actually get it from that, that place of small to where it's growing and, and becoming still. So I have to tell you that um, when we launched the education program, it was through my former corporate company, um, I work at L'Oreal, where the idea in speaking to um, some of the presidents there was to see how can they support projects in Anne at a bigger scale. And um, we started with eight students because there were literally three people that sponsored these eight students. It's $150 a year to sponsor a child. It's about $13 a month to sponsor a child to get an education, which includes in our program, backpacks and basic school supplies. And also every year for the entire school year, we make sure that the families of the sponsored students get a kit, a food kit, so that they are well nurtured throughout um, the school year, which is very important. How we grew from eight to 250 is through sponsorship, through word of mouth. And that is a very important thing to note because we all know that with nonprofits, especially a grassroots nonprofit like, non, like um, Projects and Anne, the private, um, the private aspect of it you know, is where it helps us the most. And when I say private, we're not a private nonprofit organization, 
but all of our donors, all of our, all of our sponsors comes through friends and family. And we did a recruitment process after the first eight. Every year we were able to have a running list of children that are in need, families that are in need of this help, you know, to send their kids to school. So the process is to fill out an application. We have questions that we ask, background information on these children. I've gone to different communities in Kampene, you know, pour ti moto mwè, monte de ti moto mwè, pour mal gade kote ke ti moun sa yo, kote ke fan mi sa yo viv, pour nou wè ke vreman sa na ba yo, opportunite ke na ba yo, vreman yo dan besoin an, e yo bien recevoir tout. So critère ça très important le que n'a parlé de nos profits grassroots etc which is why I often say we do the work on the ground so thankfully with the support of Ebel Motuma which is our local representative and his assistant you know we keep a running list also of the um, children that are on the waiting list so every year for the new school year a lot of time, myself and the chief administrative officer, Randy Gonai, and sometime even our co-founder, Linda Bernard, will go back to Haiti to meet with the students, to meet with the families, to not just pay for their education, but to also talk to them about the importance of the students, making sure that they are not just studying, but they, that, that they understand that this is a gift of a lifetime. Because si ti moun sa yo pa réussi ane skole alan, par exemple, e Johnny, automatiquement et malheureusement, nou oblige ba yon lot chans lan. Parce que nou gon lis de nepot ki mil ti moun dan atot pou al l'ekol. So ou ka kompren lon population de 35 mil ti moun a pe pre, lan kampéren, nou gen 250 ti moun, nou gen mil ti moun son lis, et je ne sais pas combien de gens ont encore, parce que ça sont les niveaux de recherche qui t'a intéressé moins, qui ont besoin pour aller à l'école, pour vraiment participer dans un programme qui a changé la vie. Mm. Naïka, je vais calculer la situation pays et le manque de ressources qui existait dans le pays a, et me garder ou même des risques que ou prend dans mission pour se faire qui gens ou ta capable exprimer succès mission ça dans journée jodi a parce que je connais la situation je suis un but de la situation me connais the ins and the outs of the situation tu as utilisé les moyens du bord pour le faire. Alors, expliquez-nous, you know, what, how do you explain the success of it? Yet you're, you, you're very positive about it. How do, you, how do you explain the success of that? Well, before I even talk about the success of this um, recent trip in July, I'd like to talk about when COVID hit Haiti. COVID hit, hit Haiti on March 19, where they discovered that there were two positive cases. We didn't wait for July to respond to the community. So that's number one. While we're here in the States as a nonprofit organization, nous te mette sous place une équipe pour al mobiliser, sensibiliser toute zone, nan. toute zone nan au complet. Nous te gen 10 moun, nous prenons 10 moun, 10 femmes avec garçons sous moto, pour al parler de COVID-19, qui ça que lié? Parce que nous connaissons que le bricouri, nouvelle gaie, c'est tout le monde qui prend sa capdien au sérieux. Et m'a dit que nous faisons plus que ça. Pendant que nous-mêmes, nous, aux nous, États-Unis, nous avons un groupe là qui a opéré. Nous distribuons des kits et hygiène, c'est-à-dire nous avons des Clorox avec savon. Le pourquoi? Nous ne pouvons pas parler de une pandémie qui, qui vraiment ravage le monde, quoi pour nous pas prendre même monde en province l'homme dit même monde en province au sérieux parce que nous avons tendance centraliser bagaille l'emport au prince seulement dès que une catastrophe en Haïti pour nous oublier que pays a des combien l'autre communauté là-dedans OK de nord au sud so pour commencer faut moi te dit partie ça parce que me fier de équipe là underground qui t'ai fait bel travail ça 
Le que nous avons gardé pour projet Saint-Anne, initiative nous, non, non, projet Saint-Anne, vraiment, c'est en juillet, c'est comme ça qu'il a commencé, 26 juillet 2008. Nous pas qu'à camper pour nous pas faire rien malgré la pandémie. Nous, nous faisons un meeting, moi-même avec le staff, moi, nous faisons un board meeting en, en juin. Même avant ça, nous commençons à parler, nous avons une campagne que nous mettons sur les réseaux sociaux. Parce que c'était important pour nous de répondre to the needs of the community when it comes to how starving, not just hungry, people are dying of, from food. And we know that the lack of food in Haiti is a problem, hunger in Haiti is a problem that we cannot ignore. So to that aspect, Rendi Gornai and I, we put an entire team together locally. We traveled on July 21st. I spent 22 days in Haiti. Out of those 22 days, more than half of it was responding to the community. We went to eight different areas in the community of Campere. I'm going to cite two because I'm going to see if I'm going to see what I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I'm going to see. Chaque communauté que nous allons, nous allons 120 tickets dans chaque communauté. Nous touchons vie 2000 familles et pas de jour dans tout ça n'a fait que c'est preparation of the kids, que c'est distribution of the kids, que ce jour n'est que nous passons avec Timonio pour que tout le monde pas passé en bien. Le pourquoi, c'est parce que nous avons plein d'action. Et plein d'action, on veut dire que chaque jour que bon Dieu mettait, nous dit que nous avons fait tel bagaille à partir du 22 juillet. Jusqu'à ce que nous finissions avec toute mission. Hein? Et je me dis que sincèrement, nous, nous touchons le cœur en pile monde. Nous touchons, nous touchons la vie en pile monde. Parce que quitte quitte alimentaire, ça y est, quitte hygiène, ça y est, que nous baillons, ça aide les gens et ça fait yo sentir que pendant la pandémie, ça, il y a un moment côté que un pile monde peur un pile monde pas sorti la caillou nous même nous traverser OK nous traverser <laughs> nous traverser ciel là OK nous traverser de l'eau pour nous porter au secours me ca dit que franchement c'était un moment inoubliable pour nous et me ca dit sincèrement une mission bien accomplie et une plus belle mission après peut-être uh, Hurricane Mathieu avec uh, Earthquake là, que projet Saint-Anne vraiment accompli bien à 100%. Um, Parlez-nous un petit peu de et, qui collaboration que projet Saint-Anne gagne avec et, et responsables locaux, donc que c'est notable, mais en particulier l'État. Et, ou bien l'éducation nationale, par exemple, dans la zone ça? Nous, dans la zone, non, parce que moi-même, personnellement, nous sommes une petite, petite communauté. Hein, et de non, nous avons que tout dirigeant dans la zone, c'est-à-dire l'État, nous connaît qui est ce qui pose cette année. Mais nous ne pouvons jamais collaborer avec eux. Et yo remet nous et en pile yo remet nous en pile gloire yo ban nous certificat d'honneur pour travail que n'a fait et m'ka dit que yo yo baisser tête yo dans le bon sens année ça surtout devant nous gain un magistrat et la communauté hein qui te vienne accompagner nous et pour le voir avec yeux le travail que nous faisons et comment que nous faisons, parce que ce n'est pas juste distribuer, manger, non? Nous avons un langage que nous gagnons tout la caille, nous avons un projet saint qui est très important. Donc, so, nous suivons tout ça, même quand nous ne pouvons pas avoir une col collaboration officielle avec les dirigeants de la communauté, hein? et du côté éducation nationale non plus, nous avons nous collaboré en pile avec les curé par Wasslan qui est très impliqué dans la communauté avec toutes les collègues. So, là, nous avons un rapport que nous avons besoin, quel que soit sa lien, et bien, mon tuma, et représentant local, c'est lui-même qui toujours allé dans tout rendez-vous, qui portait des rapports pour nous, etc. Et nous même tout, chaque fois dans en Haïti, nous toujours rencontré avec lui, avec Père Curé Parwasla. Et Père Curé Parwasla, ça que fait mentionner, c'est parce que depuis 2008, 
nous bâtir une relation, nous construire une relation avec Père Curé Paroisse-là, parce que patrimoine Paroisse-là, c'est lui-même qui projette cette année. Ce so, qui est très important pour nous. Having gone to school here in the States or having worked here, here in the States, that you've acquired, that you are able to take back and incorporate to improve the lives of the people back in Copyright? I, I think that um, what I've learned here is truthfully what I would call savoir faire more than anything. Because savoir faire is part of your education knowledge. What I mean by that is everything that I learn from the base, you know, from my childhood up until now is what we brought back to the community. What we, how we brought it back to, to the community truthfully is um, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear her, Johnny? We just lost the uh... We just lost uh, Maika. Uh, Basically, well, really, encore, les encore, les déconnecté. Donc, ma femme est remontée. Une autre chose qui est intéressante, c'est que c'est vraiment, c'est vraiment une question de faire des liens avec la diaspora. Yeah. Parce que je pense que et, dans le projet, c'est sponsor. Donc, sponsorship, mm -hmm. là, qui est capable de sponsor 256 personnes. Mm -hmm. Je pense que c'est vraiment une parler sur la question. Et, et de façon, je ne pas dire officiel, non, mais relation de l'État avec l'organisation caritative qui a fonctionné à Haïti, qui est et... capable de lier et okay. puis utiliser modèle. Yes. Yes. Modèle ça, Maïka? Yes. Johnny, Sorry, but... Johnny, but who yeah. can I get to say more, ma'am, Johnny? When do you remove the scaffolding? When does Haiti go from aid to trade? That's what I'm interested in. Well, and I'm interested, we're going to the same place. I was looking at the transition. Yeah. That gets us. <laughs> That's what right? I'm interested in. We're going to the same thing, yes. <laughs> All these years. Guess. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I lost you. And welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. We're just having sidebar in your absence. Sorry. Um, I think we were talking about what kind of model um, that we bring, right? From my expertise, from my corporate background, from my education um, to projects and N, to the community. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And that question is going to be followed by how do the people view you as a result of that? Okay. Absolutely. So I think that for us, um, it's accountability, accountability results is what I would say that we bring to the community. Accountability results means that what we've been doing since 2008 has consistency. And that consistency comes with results. And the results that they see is why they respond the way that they do to us. We at Project Setan uh, now, I can tell you honestly, we're a community. And the community looks at us as part of them being part of this organization. Because it's unfortunate that they rely on our um, support to send their kids to school, but we don't have an academic success um, program in Haiti for the entire country. We don't have that, which is why nonprofit organizations, especially grassroots um, organization, not the NGOs, because that's a whole different ballgame. What we do, we do on the ground. So I think that that's what I think we bring to the community more than anything, accountability results. Okay, but how do the people view you on the ground? They view us as, <laughs> they view us, I gotta tell you, you are the good Samaritan, you are the good mama with papa community. 
They view us um, as leaders in the community. They view us as people who really care, not just care to send their kids to school, but care enough to really carry the load with them to send their kids to school to get an education. They see us as lifers. Yo pa ta reme ke projet setan jam lage yo. Mais bien entendu, et, et mon ali sa avec Johnny, lo gade bien, si nou pa soutenu communauté yon vraiment, lan eta ke peyi yon yon, depi des ane et des ane, nou pa bra l'antri lan sa kounye yon, koman ke moun sa yo vraiment ka sustain their lives to send their children for an education. They don't make a dollar a day. So they are very appreciative. They recognize the work that we, that we do. They actually speak on our behalf in the community, on behalf of Project St. Anne, you know, due to the results that we've been showing. So I can tell you, I can tell you honestly, um, the response between the two, Project St. Anne and the community of Kapinge is equal, which is why that we would love to see equal opportunity for all children in Kapinge at some point when it comes to getting an education. Johnny, Vado. Hello, Johnny. Wait. Oui. Oh, no. Bless you. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, no, you are déplacer ah, nous avons un petit, un petit, un petit bad bush, eh, bien rapide. So, <laughs> en fait, des de points, des points que moi avec mon ali ça te vle, te vle couvrir ensemble avec ou qui lié avec sujet aujourd'hui qui c'est engagement diaspora. Et nous approcher question que nous pourrons poser au lent. En fait, nous poser deux questions qui différents, mais qui prennent le même côté. Premier parti, hein, qui c'est pour moi-même, et l'homme t'a posé aux questions par rapport à est-ce que ou travaille avec le ministère de l'Éducation. Et côté me devrait aller avec ça et pour me continuer question, hein, c'est qui Jean nous t'a capable de garder et pour Jessin Tan tant qu'on modèle qui t'a capable de permettre l'autre monde qui est dans la diaspora, qui est intéressé, supporté, soit pour projet saint Et, uh, by the way, um, there's someone um, in the chat, uh, 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 John Laguerre, who is offering, who's asking how he could help. Um, and so I'm sure you'll give us information, give him and the audience. John is my friend. He's one of my friends, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh. I'll, I'll get back to him. Yes, exactly. But how to, but not just him, just in general for people to know how to reach you, um, and, and be part of this. But I was interested in terms of how do we use this as a model, right? That can, that can allow other people to also, um, in a very uh, 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 in a broadly structured way with the, with the local institution to sponsor, to support um, um, kids who need to go to school. And Mona Lisa then took it to the next step in the question. So we'll just give you the two at the same time that allows you to think about it as you talk. Um, the second part of the question is then you know, Mona Lisa was interested in, well, from aid to trade, how do we move to the place where, and you started talking about it, where the families themselves um, or the kids who have participated in this program get to the place where they no longer need, right, the support or they need a different kind of support, right, so that they can, they can be self-sustained. So how do you empower the, them? How do you empower yeah, them? Those are the two yeah. legs of the question. Yes, yeah. yeah. absolutely. So for the model, I would speak again to the consistency in Project Sedan as a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. I think that the best model when it comes to Project St. Anne is what we've been able to deliver from the very beginning, which is to put not just this education program in place, but to have the proper recruitment process on site, to have a team on site, to have donors that are, you know, also responding to the organization. We have a relationship with these donors. So the model that we have is really structured in a way where it's a relationship. It's a relationship based on the founders of the organization 
And it's a relationship based on the founders of the organization with the community. So consistency is something that is extremely important, which is why this model has been working for us. And I think that there are other nonprofit organizations that are doing the same or the same in a similar way. And I think that they have also succeeded in their programs. For us, what's been very beneficial is really having consistency with our sponsors. I think that's what's helped us a lot because of our consistent result to the sponsors and to the community. Without consistency, you cannot continue with your program and, your, and with your initiatives. As far as the trade aspect of it, the reason why we're building this campus, one of the reasons why we're building is this campus is because we are hoping to have un poulailler sous campus, par exemple. Poulailler sous campus, ça que le libre fait, c'est un coquin chien bagay. Non seulement le libre va être mon yon manger, n'a pas ta bay parent yon ou responsabilité, côté que yon ka démêle yon, OK, c'est-à-dire à bouger vraiment pour y aller chercher la vie, c'est-à-dire n'a pas prendre ça yo relo aspect entrepreneur. C'est très important pour nous et yo même yo paré pour ça. Yo tellement paré pour ça, yo offre nous terre, pas cacher dit nous ça. Yo offre nous terre que nous t'a parlé de ça parce que yo connaît que c'est bral un bel bagage pour yo la communauté. C'est même gens tout aspect entrepreneur dans le campus là même au boulangerie n'a pas envisagé pour nous ouais pour nous ta mettre le campus là si possible parce que là encore ou a bay parent yo ou responsabilité en plus de aide que ou a bay ti moun yo mais pas oublier que campus là aspect campus là ça qui pi important c'est que ou a bay ti moun yo continuité a même si c'est pour ti moun qui dans l'école là déjà mais qui qualifié pour venir apprendre un métier, les cas viennent dans le campus pour venir apprendre un métier, pour demain, pour le construire, bâti pour le business. Pal. Parce que nous vivons dans une société vraiment qui roule sous sa yorelo, entrepreneurial lifestyle. You know, and it works, but you have to give them the tools. You have to give them the resources. And that is exactly what we're envisioning in this campus for the community. So, Mona Lisa? Yes, so, see this is where we were going with the question and, and, and I'm still um, high on that question. I'm, I'm hooked on that question, uh, Naika. And it, it, it's, it's an issue that I'm really passionate. Johnny and I are both passionate about diaspora engagement. So how do we encourage others to, to become engaged in this type of work with the opportunity, with the hope that, look, the scaffolding has to be removed at some point. We're here to assist, but the crutch has to be removed. At some point, you have to be able to work, to, to be able to work and walk on your own. So having a trade school, because I, I pretty much, I'm working with women on the ground as well. I, I, I teach them, we do distance learning. Uh, we would cancel our classes today because of the, the, the hurricane. But these women, instead of coming with the approach of, okay, we're, we're handing you stuff. We're giving you freebies. You're taking money. You're investing it. We need a return on our investment. Isn't that the model, Johnny? Right? Yeah. Right? You're learning about leadership. Show us how you're going to utilize what you've learned with the training when you get to the real world? How do you use leadership at home, starting with your own home, and then when you get to the community, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is, if you have so many people in, 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 in company alone, and now you're serving 250 students, how do you get to the next set of, of, of the other 850 that's left in, in need of help? So each one teach one, right? So how do you build that model? How do you shift from the current model to a, to a model that's going to help others exponentially? See, Mona Lisa, that? mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's a very, um, I would say that is a very tall 
task for a grassroots organization to build based on these statistics that I was talking to you guys about earlier, which I'm sure you know. Haiti's literacy rate is at 52.9%, okay? And out of that, Haiti ranks 177 out of 186 in the world for national spending on education. When you talk about trade schools and you're talking about how do we remove the need to continuously help the people to give their kids an education. That is something that unfortunately, it's at a level where education wise, lo apale education nacional, that they won't even be able to tell you right now because of how rooted this big issue is. There isn't a system in place already. We're trying to build that system with this campus by giving the children and the youth, jeunesse this opportunity of learning a métier. Those 850 kids, unfortunately, they're going to have to, unfortunately, either their parents, well, not their, not, not the children, the parents, unfortunately, are going to have to depend on another nonprofit organization, Ubieti Familio, to help them send their children to school because we can't do it all. We're capping our program actually at 250 kids because we wanna have quality education. We want to be able to serve the best of the best education system. So the diaspora right now, when you look at how they're helping the country, I think that if we put our heads together more, we can do more. We put our heads together more, especially as grassroots organization in the education aspect of things, because it's such a marketable um, uh, uh, area where we can progress in the country. I think that's where we can see how can we help in the bigger scheme of things, like big picture, if you will. But this isn't a, a um, this isn't a task or an initiative or a project that is going to be done overnight. It's a- I get, I get it, but can we consider a cycle whereby if, if, mm -hmm. if we're considering career readiness, can we consider preparing some of these kids to become the future teachers of the same school by giving Absolutely. them the same school? Absolutely, got, that's, so, that's, that's can, why can we're we building this campus. To, to come back and serve within that same community. Absolutely. Can we get those, prepare those same kids to become engineers that would serve back in that same, that very same community where they Absolutely. got. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is truthfully the purpose of the campus so that they can then serve their community. We have students now that have graduated in the community that can't wait for this campus to be done, built and ready to take off because they know that they're going to have an opportunity if they fit you know, the métiers that we are envisioning to, um, to, to have in our programs in the, in the campus. But those are the reasons why we're building the campus. It's because we want to be able for these students to not only get an education, but to come back and to teach the future of the community. How are they addressing issues of special education? In? In, in, in the schools. In Copenhagen? Yes. Mona Lisa, we are in a pandemic year. Mm -hmm. There's no program for, I would probably say 90% of the country for the children to even continue their education during this pandemic. There's no online program. We all know that there's no such thing as what we're doing right now, especially when it comes to the outside, the, 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 the communities, the sub-communities, So can I just tell you, between pays lock avec pandémie, ti moun an Haiti, son ane skolèr ke yo pèdjou. Son ane skolèr ke yo pèdjou. I'm sure that you look to that. There's no, there's no, there's, there's no program, there's no curriculum what we're doing right now is we're studying ourselves at Project St. Anne with our local representative to see what can we do in moments like this. And so, we're putting something together for that. So what is the plan for, for, for teaching with social distancing? How, I mean, given the infrastructure, how do they plan on, on, on for the back to school, for the 
academic year 2020 2021 what what is the plan <laughs> i mean i know you being the leader from the diaspora of that particular school i'm, I'm not putting you on the spot and please understand yeah understand. it's 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 such a, you're not putting me on the spot. It's just a it, 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 it's it's just it's a the very coronavirus reality for these people. Because I know you just came back. Well, I was just about to tell you. Mona Lisa, moi, fait combien de jours n'a distribué des kits, etc. Nous rencontrer avec plus de mille, plus de deux mille monde. Moi, moi, rencontrer avec n'importe qui, dix mille monde, disons. OK? Social distancing en Haïti. Uh, 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 so I don't see you, Kondimunyo. Unfortunately, this isn't something that you teach. We are the we are you, the human connection is embedded in us. It was so hard for us, for me to really have these people wear a mask while we were doing our distribution, but they did because they had no choice. Every single person that we came in touch with had a mask. As far as social distance, physical distance, at the school level, let's just say they're trying. They are trying. And the effort that is being put in isn't equal. Meaning, soit l'on l'école, pas au prince, soit l'école privée, yo même, yo gagne, bon, tout presque toute l'école l'an pays, c'est privé, yoye, mais ça dépend de niveau l'école l'an, yo même, yo gagne, ou aspect sa yore l'eau, social distance. Mais en province, there's no, there's not really social distance, they're trying. So for them is, you know, they have a schedule, for example, in some of the schools in Kapere, where not all kids come to a certain class. You know, that is something that they're doing because Kampere, I have to say, son communauté exemplaire, kote ke yo pren tout bagay au sérieux tout. Ok? So, koun yon mkone ke gen an pil lan timoun nou yo lan program nan kote ke yo pa l'école chaque jour parce que yo gon program kote ke yale deux ou trois fois par semaine. Sa se a Kampere, men a fè pou ap e kante e, e, ta, e, e ban bagay sa. Yo pa ge bagay kon sa parce que klas l'école la deja trop piti. OK so m pa bezwen dou pou mete bagay yo pou mete ban avèk tab a distance so sa ke yo fè yo fè un jan pou ke tout ti moun yo pa vini an dan klas la menm e e e an menm le ki pe m pran nou gen yen kek komantre pou nou gen un piti pe pase l'an men diskisyon trez important e trez interesan e m pase sa ki important pou nou pou nou soulinye se ke pwome bagay la Chloe, Chloe and Natasha ask, what is the process to sponsor a child? So put that there. Two, two things you need to do before, before we end, we close, is okay. that question. And the second question is, how do people get in touch with the organization if they are interested? You're going to close sure. with those. Don't, don't answer okay. them yet. You're going to close with those. Got it. Um, now, in terms of some of the questions common, right, there's a question about um, uh, uh, if the model, if the model is well proven, scalable, and sustainable, this is from uh, Jimmy, uh, and sustainable, how can we get the state engagement to consider this into the education and public policy for the majority of children? I think you answered this already, um, partly. But if there's anything you want to add, you can, relative to how do you sort of, you know, get the larger the the the, the education national to kind of see this as a model. Um, there was a, another question from Kimber, who says, is, is the state willing to look at, or as, I guess it's the same, uh, along the same line, uh, is the state willing to look at or discuss another model? However, there may be ways to spread this model from town to town. Um, I know, for example, Madudu, Zamino Jeff Lozama, qui c'est même mon même côté avant, pas qu'on est si Jeff travaille dans le domaine de l'éducation, mais peut-être son lot vous qui capable d'apprendre de savoir faire. Mm-hmm. Um, et based on my experience alone, leadership training must begin with belief in the future. That doesn't mean simply finding enough food for your family tomorrow. Too many of the schools are preparing. This is Kimber, but at, uh, the children uh, for something that they can't realize. We need to start with teaching them how to be imaginative, so how to be creative. Um, so, so those are some of the comments and questions that came that came across. If you want to react to them, and then um, you know, uh, if there's anything else, we'll ask you to kind of summarize 
uh, and then give the answer the last two things I had asked you relative to. Info. Sure. So I'll give a special shout out to Kimber. Um, hi, Kimber. Uh, who's, uh, I, I would assume this is the Kimber I know because she's so passionate about Haiti. She's one of our sponsors. Um, she mm -hmm. lives in um, Charlotte, North Carolina, actually. And um, she's also a missionary friend, as we like to call her, um, because they've traveled, she's traveled with us to Haiti um, to assist with projects and, and initiatives. So what I will say to that is, you know, we are not just providing education to these kids. I think that the message is clear there. I think that what we're providing to the families and the community is a better opportunity of a lifetime. Education wise, when it comes to the national, education national, that is, I would assume one of the main focus right now for the country because we do need to beef up our status when it comes to equal education, academic education, success education, meaning continued success education. So I would say that the model that we've been following at Projects and Anne has been working. And I will say it again because of consistency in our program and the way that we run our sponsorship um, program with the sponsors and with the students. Um, as far as the last uh, two questions, I think, um, that you, you ask, how do you sponsor a child? You can sponsor a child on our website, um, which is www.project, um, project in English, sentan.org. Uh, uh, so it's P-R-O-J-E-C-T-S-T-A-N-N-E.org. It's a very user-friendly site where you just hop on, you browse, you experience what we've done, um, and then you click on sponsor a child. It's $150 for the year, as I mentioned earlier. And typically what we do is within the year, we contact, we get in touch with our sponsors at least twice during the year because it's not just about doing the sponsorship and you don't hear from us. And this year, we're going to do something different where we're going to gather more information about the students to share with the sponsors. And our local representative and his assistant is ready to take on the task because I think it's important and it will be encouraging for the sponsors to continue their sponsorship. And I think it, that it will definitely add another great aspect to our model. So it's www.projectsentan.org. And to contact Project Sentan, I can be contacted directly, which is naika, N-A-I-K-A, -A, at projectsentan.org. I'm not sure if you're writing these down, um, Johnny or Monali. I am. Uh, Perfect. Yes. Thank you. So it's naika at projectsentan.org or info at projectsetan.org. Um, and I welcome anyone and everyone, especially la diaspora, qui vle kole seri avec nous, okay? Qui vle vraiment mette yon, un, un model exemplaire et ensemble avec Projet Sentan, c'est-à-dire, vous pensez que gen en pile l'autre organisation qui ta rien mais contrer avec l'autre organisation, mais yon pas contre comment pour yon faire premier pas. Et c'est une bagay que moi même moi tiens à cœur en pile, et that goes with consistency and loyalty. So, même si c'est pas projet saint à nous m'en supporter, m'en toujours dit yon, supporter l'autre organisation, surtout grassroots. Absolument. Le travail de pays. Parce que malheureusement, jusqu'à présent, ces pays non liés nous obligés soutenir communauté autant que nous capables. Parce que le modèle que Projet Sétan gagne la communauté campérienne, moi-même personnellement, je dis que la vision, c'est pour me que nous adapter le modèle ça vraiment dans l'autre communauté d'un pays. Et il n'est pas obligé du côté éducation seulement. Parce que, comme je l'ai dit avant, as long as you have an actionable plan, 
operationally, logistically, and the funds, you can do anything. So meaning, my bio example, on Savo, my, my dad is from on Savo. And uh, December 2019, my Savo, we planted a seed in on Savo, Project We did a celebration for the kids in the community because we want to start spreading our wings in Haiti. And the idea is to spread our wings in other communities, preferably in Setan communities, since we are Puja Setan, you know, so that we can perhaps sustain more lives and change more lives and transform more families one day. Yeah, you, got, you see me smiling as you said, Osavo, right? Because I was in Osavo with my delegation in 2012. And, um, you know, it's, it's like, I think, those of us who work in Haiti as diaspora, it's like where, where I start, you come and you take over and then the next person will come. And it, it's like each of us have a part to do and it's a continuation of, it, of the work. It, 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 it's, there's, there's, there's enough room for all of us. Absolutely. I but, call it a social responsibility. It know? is. It is. It's a social it is. responsibility. I know it's our social engagement. I know that a lot of us do it with our heart, but it's a social responsibility because of our country. You know, but, if we had better structure, if we had, you know. But so ultimately, <laughs> though, ultimately, I think I think some of us are, ex are experiencing diaspora fatigue because you know, you oh. give and you give and you give. And at which point do you, do you, where, where do you break the cycle? Where do you get to the point where you say, you know what, well, you that, I see, I see you don't one community. Huh? I, 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 think, you I, I, I think, at a time? I, I think, I think, I think that, we're... I think that we need to get back on another um, yes. myth yes. where we can talk about strong governance. Yes. The love is there for Haiti, you know. Yes. Yes. Governance. Yes. Still there. Absolutely. You know, yes. happy. The passion yes. is still there. But. And when we do that, I think this is the time when we could bring in subjects like what is happening with the dollar cent that's being collected. Yes, what is indeed. happening with the five cents. So yes. we're not going to open that can of worm now. Can of worm. I think today, God. Sintan, we wanted to give people an opportunity to hear about you, Naika, and the work that you have been doing for so long and how anchored you are in the community. I'm just sort of summarizing everything that I've heard. Um, part of the success has been not only your patience, not just you, but this whole group, that team that comes together, the commitment, the engagement that you have and the collaboration that you have working directly with the community and the patience to develop something that started with eight young people that now has 250 young people and that will potentially get to a campus that will, God knows, be able to accommodate hundreds and thousands of young people. So really, we want to thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. And I know when I say, I'm going to 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 send greetings to a couple of friends who came out to support us tonight, you know, from, from Haiti, of course, you know, Sam Darwin from Quade Bouquet, you know, who's um, uh, in charge of HACK. HACK is the Haitian American Caucus, and he's on the ground. You know, Sam is a former student of mine. He's a, a, a he's like a son to me, and I just wanted to, to, to thank him and, and tell him to stand by because I definitely have to bring him on the mojo so he can share the wonderful work that he's doing on the ground of Haiti. Uh, Evelyn Alexson, my sister, my partner in crime, who's doing, uh, who's the president and founder of Autism 509, wants to connect with you, Naika, and I'm going to link with you. I'm going to link her with you. She wants to collaborate with, with uh, the work that you're doing on the ground as well. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to Pastor Chloe. Uh, she's also interested in supporting you, Naika, with the work that you're doing. She's, she's great. Trust me. She's not one who promise and not deliver. She will definitely deliver. Uh, thank you, Dave Kader. Thank you to Marie Lawrence Dimash. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. I do appreciate you all. Thank you, Kaol. Thank you. Um, uh, if the list is long, <laughs> and then uh, we must end because we should have ended since five o'clock. Uh, but I understand with the, the call kept dropping for some reason. Again, uh, happy anniversary to Tabu Kombo, uh, Shubu, Fafan, and Kapi. Thank you guys so much. You guys know I love you. If it wasn't for anything, I would have been. Front row, first seat, um, VIP, trust me, I'll be with you online tonight and I'll be sharing 
um, with the rest of the diaspora so we can join in, in this celebration. Johnny, it's always a pleasure. More, more of a beautiful reason. We should have been here, man. We want to be here. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You know, Pleasure's I, I look forward to that I think... time. You know, every Sunday, I, I truly look forward to that time because that's 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 therapeutic for me. So do I. And I just want everybody to know that uh, there's some some news that we should be sharing. That mm -hmm. we will mm -hmm. be moving uh, the Mojo show. We'll shows. be getting married. We'll be getting married and and be be, be with another uh, uh, a platform, um, uh, Union Nine TV. Uh, that's going to allow us to spread our wings, right? Just like you're doing, Naika. And so, stay tuned. There'll be more information coming in the in the in the next weeks uh, to come. But in the interim, to end this, as we always do, we want to thank everybody who hung in there with us, who participated, who commented, who asked questions. And as always, like we say, if it's Sunday and you want to get your mojo back, you have to be on the Mojo Show. So that's thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you.